the Philippines is the host for the first. Asia-Pacific Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction held at the Philippine International Convention Center in Pasay City, National Capital Region. Theme is surge to 2030, enhancing ambition in Asia-Pacific to accelerate disaster risk reduction. But let us remember that strength was forged out of adversity over centuries of facing storms and earthquakes, adapting and rising once again with a renewed vision and purpose. Just recently, the Southwest Monsoon or Habana The conference will provide an important opportunity to review risk reduction efforts, share innovative solutions, and make actionable commitments to accelerate disaster risk reduction by 2030 in the world's most disaster-prone region. The homes that have been destroyed and have to be rebuilt. The livelihood. We also have around 24 active volcanoes. These are compounded by the increasing frequencies of hazard brought about by climate change, which makes the Philippines at risk and then our landscape even more, making our landscape even more complex, our people even more vulnerable. Much has been said about the resilience of Filipino spirit, but let us remember that strength was forged out of adversity over centuries of facing storms and earthquakes, adapting and rising once again with a renewed vision and purpose. Just recently, the Southwest Monsoon, or Habaga, enhanced by Typhoon Gaimi, locally known as Karina, inflicted more than $82 million in agricultural damage. That figure only scratches the surface. The true measure of our losses lies in the human cost the homes that have been destroyed and have to be rebuilt, the livelihoods that have, that have been lost that may never come back, and the lives irrevocably changed. Resilience and sustainability must underpin the national agenda of our economy. This recognizes that all our efforts in economic planning are fragile in the face of calamities and disasters. For us, the stakes are existential, the consequences generational, and the policy environment increasingly complex. However, this narrative is not unique to the Philippines. Across the Asia-Pacific region, nations like ours grapple with similar trials. We share a common struggle, navigating that, the balance between continued economic growth and dealing with the ever-present threat of disasters. The Asia-Pacific region also stands as a testament to the unwavering spirit of its people. From the tsunami in the Indian Ocean to Typhoon Haiyan in the Pacific Ocean, from the earthquakes in Nepal to floods in South Asia, our nations have conquered monumental challenges. Still, we remain as the world's engine of growth, steering the global economic recovery in the wake of the pandemic. We must strive to create a future where the need for recovery becomes less frequent as we lay the foundations for a safer, more adaptive, inclusive, and disaster-resilient region. So as we convene for the 2024 Asia-Pacific Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction, we find ourselves at a critical juncture. With the theme surge to 2030, enhancing ambition in Asia-Pacific to accelerate disaster risk reduction, we are now called to lead the global effort to reduce disaster and climate risks, protect our people, and build sustainable economies. 
The Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction 2015 to 2030 gave the international community profound guidance in our disaster risk reduction efforts. Our path now is to redouble and to synergize our efforts to accelerate its implementation. It also remains crucial to align our goals under this framework. With the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, and the Paris Agreement. We must harmonize our approaches and pursue meaningful action under these mandates to secure a sustainable and climate resilient future. The search to 2030 involves key steps. We must significantly increase our investments and develop financing mechanisms in disaster risk reduction. Sustain and predictable, predictable data and financing would help address disaster risk better. This, entail, this entails ensuring that developing countries, particularly the least developed countries, landlocked countries, and small island developing states are provided greater access to these resources to advance their policies and build disaster resilience. <laughs> Pagawan mo lang, tutulong na po dyan yung malinis ng tubig, pwede ginawin. Pwede yung inumin. Ano, yung ulan, tubig ulan. Ulan, pwede tubig ulan. Oh. Nagbibigay rin kayo bawat pamilya or? Yes sir, base dun sa kasasunan. Pati ito, sir? Yes sir, kitchen. The conference also showcased Philippine arts and culture. Indigenous fabrics. Apparels and textiles industry. Hand heaving and hand woven clothes from the indigenous peoples of the Luzon Cordilleras.
Mindanao never fails to throw visitors of its rich and diverse culture, arts and handicrafts. The conference provided delegate a wealth of information through forums, presentations, and marketplace. Climate change worsens. Separate. 